the book Numbers comes from the phrase, "The number of the Israelites was counted in the wilderness." Why did they count the number of people in the wilderness? It was to find out how many people could go to war. That is, how many people would be able to go to war upon entering the land of Canaan. The Israelites followed God's command and counted the people, thinking, "Now is the time to enter the land." They must have thought, "This is the end of living in the wilderness for two years." Indeed. The Israelites were now about to start a new life in the land that God had promised them. Before the war, God sent twelve commanders, representing twelve tribes, to the land of Canaan through Moses. Their names are recorded one by one in the Bible. They traveled around the Canaan region for forty days and looked at it: what kind of people lived there, what food they ate, and what the terrain looked like. When they returned to their camp after completing their scouting, they took large bunches of grapes, pomegranates, and figs from the land of Canaan. These were fruits that the Israelites could rarely see or eat while living in the wilderness. The twelve spies said, "Look at this! Indeed, the land that God promised is a good land, flowing with milk and honey." How joyful and happy were the people when hearing the story! But soon a problem arose. Of the twelve spies, ten of them said this. But the people living in that land seem very strong. The castle is like a strong fortress, and the people there were like giants. Compared to those people, we are shabby, like grasshoppers. When we think about it, the land is actually an evil land, and a land that devours the people who live there. The people who heard this murmured in fear. At this time, Caleb, one of the twelve spies, spoke. No, since God has brought us this far, He will definitely give us this land. It's so strange, right? Even though they saw the same land at the same time. Some people spoke of complaints and disappointment, while others spoke of gratitude and hope. Jesus said this: "A good tree bears good fruit, and a bad tree bears bad fruit." It seems like people who resent and complain only see everything negatively. However, those who remember God's help and think about what pleases God see good things even in difficult times. Like the two spies, Joshua and Caleb. When the Israelites heard the words of the ten spies, they cried loudly and complained against Moses and Aaron. Then they said something bad to God. At the end, not a single person who complained like this was able to enter the land of Canaan. They all lived in the wilderness for thirty-eight years and then died. Complaints and resentments. Have made it impossible for them to look towards the land of hope. Everyone, there will be many things like this in our lives too. When we have to start something new or make a decision, difficulties and fears are bound to arise. At this time, what is the mindset we should have? Rather than grumbling and complaining, we should believe that God helps us and look at our problems with eyes of hope and gratitude. For people like that, God will allow them to bear good fruit.